Okay. Now I was looking for some videos on how to use this particular belt system. And I couldn't find any. So I'm going to do it myself with some hard labor and some real hard thinking. I figured it out. This is the Condor H harness and Gen 2 battle belt. I have two attachments on the battle belt now. The first one here is my trauma kitten for EDC. There we go. You know, it covers the, it's going to attach on the first layer of webbing. The second attachment I have here is a drop pouch. It's got my cooking uh, kit in there and some tent steaks. Now, let me show you how this thing works. This is where I ran into trouble looking for videos. Now, this is your front horn. This, here, this is your front. Now, normally there is a belt on the inside of this. It's a casing. For a belt. For, a, for any belt. I have one in the mail, but I just want to show you how to at least attach these things. I'm going to attach this one just to show you. Okay, I'm going to do it in reverse, and then I'm going to demonstrate to you. Now, this is how it comes. Not attached to the top harness. They're, they're, two, they're two separate pieces. Now, the first thing you do... Is you take the fur this end here, stick it through the larger end to your desired size, and then you see this end. And then you stick it through that end to make it stay, and then you just adjust it. You see how mine stays now? There are four of these D-rings. Well, yeah, you see what I did here is I had to loop. Before I reattached, I looped through the D-ring. So you see how this is attached here? Yeah. I guess I didn't show that really the first time I did this. I'll redo it and show you what I mean by going through the D-ring. Now this is actually how it comes. Now this is a D-ring. It's on the top end of the harness. Like this. Now you, you go through there. You thread it. Then you do that. You go through the belt, this regular plastic latch. And then, go through this littler part, the smaller part of the latch. Smaller through. And there you have it. That's the one part I was missing, was how to attach these two pieces, but... Took me a little brain power, but I figured it out. Now, what this is a nice, you know, comfy harness. It's got webbing on the inside for comfort. I can also run, I can also run a hydration pack through here, or something else that would take a D clip because I have a D clip on each shoulder strap. Now, this is the back side. So you see how that works. This back part, how it would house a hydration pack. Whereas in my case, my backpack would be impeding it there, but my backpack, I can run a hydration pack through. And once I get this belt, it'll loop all the way around. So don't worry if this belt doesn't reach your waist. Uh, your belt will, even if the cover, even if this covering doesn't. And I need to honestly, yeah, yeah, I need to get a little thinner. <laughs> Once I get a little thinner, this stuff will be closer to my belly. So anyways, this is the Condor H harness. And these are my two attachments. For the main part of it. So, there you have it. And I paid uh, about 
about $37 on Amazon for this and the belt. So, and I bought these two attachments separate. They do not come with attachments. So, just a warning. You're going to have to use your own mole attachments for this, for this system. But it's a nice load-bearing system. I think this is going to, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this.